Thank you for joining us on this week's edition of Birmingham View Television. We always want to bring you information about people in the community who are making a difference in the lives of our young people. Uh, we've already talked to one young man, Jason Branch, who's involved with the Dream, Feeding Dreams program. And we have another, the person who's actually the winner. I mean, we're sorry, Jason, he didn't win, but we got the winner here today with the Feeding Dreams program uh, who does outstanding work in the community that deals specifically with girls. And so I won't go into any more. We'll talk to Glenda Fincher, who will tell you more about the, the Girls in Action. So just tell us a little bit more about uh, that program. Girls in Action is an uh, organization that started at Tarrant High School. Mm -hmm. We started in the fall of 2007. We started with a group of young ladies who were juniors and seniors in high school. And they actually came to us and asked that they wanted to be able to get out into the community and do some work. Um, oh, wait, they came to you? They did. They okay, came that's, to that's, your, that's your some initiative. Yes, mm -hmm. these are young ladies who are... They were great students. Mm -hmm. They wanted to be able to just put something back into the school system and also in the, co the community that they live in. Mm -hmm. And what, uh, this is in Tarrant? So the, it's in Tarrant. So most of these, these girls are from Tarrant? Most of them are from Tarrant. Mm -hmm. We did have a few tuition students who mm -hmm. lived outside of the community, okay. but they did work in their communities also. Um, what, what volunteer is, work at their churches oh, and everything. What is it specifically you think that uh, got the attention of the judges and of course the, the community who, who uh, voted on the Feeding Dreams winners? Just knowing the work that the girls did, because mm -hmm. they are visible. They are visible around the community. And speaking of visible, I have a shirt for you. Oh, okay. And you can see why we can always be seen. <laughs> okay, thank you. It's Girls in Action. Okay, they're very much, very bright. Thank you. And we have another little gift for you. Oh, thank you. Wow. On behalf of Girls in Action at Tarrant High School. Well, no wonder you got voted in. <laughs> you like to give gifts. <laughs> we like to give gifts. We want to say thank. We like to say thank, thank you, you mm -hmm. for those who help put for uh, put put us out there more. Uh -huh. uh, the girls go out and they do ushering at different events mm -hmm. that we have at the school. Mm -hmm. They're always called upon uh, at City Hall mm -hmm. for some of the uh, functions that they have there to to participate as ushers. Mm -hmm. They do work around the school. Everybody wants to use the girls in action. Okay, girls in action. Yeah. What specifically, we, we talk a lot about you know, working with young men, but what is it specifically you think girl, young girls need right now in terms of mentoring, in terms of guidance? I think our girls just need a lot more love. Uh -huh. They need to know what love is, to know what being compassionate is. Mm -hmm. They need to be more verbal yeah. to be able to I speak mean, well, to I, each I other. I thought girls are always verbal. So what, what's happening? Texting. Uh, texting. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They, they don't. They don't really communicate with each other a lot anymore. Mm -hmm. You don't call each other on the phone. Like you just girls text just talk. each other. Uh -huh. They still have girl talk, okay. but it's through the phone and it's always through slang. Uh huh. So we use our group as a uh, way to say, okay, this is what we do when we get together. Because when we meet, we meet twice a month. Mm -hmm. And when we meet, we sit down and try to have old-fashioned powwows. Oh, my goodness. They know how to uh, act. <laughs> they know how to act. They are the girls. Oh. And like I said, when they go out to functions, everybody is really impressed with the way the girls present themselves. Because we teach them, when you go out and talk to people, you look them in their eyes. Mm -hmm. You hold eye contact. You talk to them. And you use proper English. Mm, yes, don't worry, help us. Yeah, <laughs> nothing wrong with talking slang. You don't want to. You got to uh, yeah, let go of the slang. Yeah, you got to let it go. You know, it's, it, you, it's, what you do at home, what you do out in the world can be two different things, and it's okay. Yeah, right. To be bilingual. The, exactly. <laughs> exactly. And that's what we try to get them to do mm -hmm. in our organization: to present themselves as young ladies, to mm -hmm. be mentors to those uh, freshmen and sophomores that are coming up. Mm -hmm. And let them know it doesn't have to be always be about being loud and mm -hmm. boisterous. Mm -hmm. You can be young ladies oh my and gosh, you can yes. still have a good time. time that's right. Um, what in particular, uh, what, what are some of the other specific community events that they do that you think is really helping prepare them for real life experiences? Oh my goodness, we have a class, an alumni class mm -hmm. that comes and have a reunion every year mm -hmm. and the girls help usher and host that event. And those people are so excited to have those young ladies there with them. Yeah. Because it's like a class of 40 or 50 something. Yeah. In the 40 and 50s. You mean, oh, oh, that's how old they are? 1950. Oh, 19, oh 1950. Okay. 1940 and 1950. Oh, okay. Those classes still meet uh -huh. at the high school during the spring. Okay. And they have a reunion. Mm -hmm. And the young ladies go and they help usher and they just have a great time. Really? Those, the older adults just really enjoy having those young ladies around. And that's what we're trying to do. This is not necessarily uh, uh, an organization for troubled youth uh, girls or anything like that. These are just girls who just wanted to kind of do something, you know, in a positive and for their own community. Exactly. Okay. They're not in trouble. Mm -hmm. They're great. They're great students. Mm -hmm. uh, we usually choose students that have A, B, or C averages. Mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. uh, and to just keep promoting and uplifting them. Yeah. And we don't we don't exclude our children mm-hmm. who are troubled. We yeah. do have some stuff in place for them at the school also. Uh-huh. But this organization is for young ladies who really want to get out there mm-hmm. and get to work. So you got girls in action? Are there any boys in action over there too? No, not right now. Oh, it's okay. We no. we've got to get started. They did have a program at one time, uh-huh. but it's kind of falling behind. Uh huh. And I think if we go ahead and get started back with that, because we've even been asked to start a junior GIA. Junior Gia. Junior Gia. They want to use the seventh, eighth, and ninth graders okay. for that. Uh-huh. Is this all at one school? Yes. It's at one school. And Tarrant so, is a high school, middle school. High school. Okay, high school, middle school. Mm-hmm. And so with that, so the younger kids are actually watching the older kids now. They want to, you know, they which are. is good. You know, because we get a lot of what, Miss Miss Fincher, What is Gia? Uh-huh. What do they do? Uh-huh. And I told them, I said, we're gonna invite you to a meeting and you'll see. Uh-huh. So now I understand too that with the uh, Feeding Dreams program, you actually got an award from Susan Taylor. Yeah. And what did that mean to the organization? The five thousand dollars. Five thousand. Okay. We five G. Five thousand dollars, and everybody. Jason won mm-hmm. two thousand right. dollars. And Miss Dice won a thousand. Mm-hmm. So all of us were winners. Yes. Each organization was a winner mm-hmm. in its own aspect. And, and tell Miss Dice's five, organization because I, they don't, don't think people know about that. Um, uh, it's with Grace House. Exactly. Uh-huh, Grace, Grace House, House Ministries. Grace I'm House sorry. Ministries. That's, that's okay. Grace House Ministries and um, and Jason's uh, Bounce, Bounce program, uh-huh. yes. but, which is for young men. It was for young uh-huh. men, but. With that $5,000, what we did, and what we've been doing for the last couple of years, we feed families during the holidays okay. for Thanksgiving and Christmas. And that's going to allow us to be able to do even more to help some disadvantaged families in the community mm-hmm. to give them a meal that they may not otherwise have during the holidays. Okay. So that $5,000 is going to be very helpful okay. so that we can use it to help someone else. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for joining us here. Thank, Thank you for what you're you. doing, Jen. Thank you for your shirt. I love it. Okay, guys, we'll be back right after this short commercial break. And there's different.